Hello there and welcome back to another video guys, it's our first part of this new series that I'm going to be starting on this channel guys, hopefully it's going to be a big one, this is my um, beginner 2 pro Roblox script and tutorial series guys, this is the beginner like section of this series right now guys, I will be doing like a beginner one, an intermediate one and an advanced um, like playlist group guys, so this is the beginner section of course and in today's video we're just going to be running through the basics of Roblox Studio to get you guys a little bit more um knowing what everything does guys so even if you are a little bit used to roblox studio as well i recommend watching because i do aim to actually at least include include one thing which a lot of you more um knowledgeable like knowledgeable developers may already know about guys so yeah make sure you do watch all the way up until the end because there will be a few tips and tricks which i will give you guys which you probably are going to want to use definitely during your roblox studio development um journey guys which is going to be quite nice before i start anything off over here and actually get on into all this i first need to go in and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com that's my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides and there's tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we give codes for over 1000 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there anyway guys i guess let's just go ahead and go on into this video now so this is a basic um video today guys so we're going to start off with the complete basics right now so when you load in a roblox studio over here you'll have a plus new section right now guys where we can browse through a bunch of templates over here guys you have a bunch of um roblox starting places right now guys which are kind of cool not gonna lie guys i've never used these before i normally choose the base plate or the classic base plate guys any of these can do you guys can also choose flat terrain guys if you are going if they like terrain style map i'll be talking about terrain in today's video but yeah guys there's a bunch of here um stuff here you probably are gonna want to like run through these these little but just to get a little bit more um used to like roblox studio and that guys but we've got these templates here we've got some theme stuff over here guys which is of course categorizing them a bit more and then we've got gameplay as well guys which is quite cool okay so in our my game section right now guys we have a bunch of games which um you have all your games here that you have published to roblox guys you've got group games over here and shared with me that means let's say you are in a team create game with someone else then of course you can um access that game there but we're just gonna start off with the basics right now guys so we're gonna jump on into a base plate right now guys and i'm just gonna talk about everything that you will need in the base plate over here guys so when you load into your first roblox um studio like game base plate thing what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that these things are open so guys go to the view tab right at the top over here it's a bit small but click on it then you want to open up these three things these are very very important right now guys so we have the explorer that's this thing on the side over here guys we have properties that's this thing on the left and then we also have output right now guys this thing at the top we will definitely be using the output a ton during this and um, these this like series right now guys and the output is very very important when it comes with when it comes to scripting because it tells you guys when there's errors in the script and you can use it to output stuff into the output tab over here guys i'll be talking about that later on in this series over here guys okay so now we that we have these open i'm just going to talk about the explorer so the explorer pretty much allows you to see every single thing that's in your game guys you can access it and change it here guys and change the properties and stuff which that's why we have the properties tab over here guys there's just a bunch of stuff in here in this you can like add stuff but if you just click on the add button there's a bunch of stuff right now guys which you can add into into your game right now guys i will not be going through all these in this script and in, in this one video over here guys but we will cover a lot of these during the series and um, but pretty much guys you can add stuff like parts a part is pretty much just brick guys so if we quickly come to the part right now guys um as you can see here here's the pot and one of the hotkeys that i like to use is f so if you ever select thing on the right and click on f it will bring your camera just to where the pot is guys which is quite cool okay so we got that bit right now what what i'm not going to talk about is properties so properties is actually on the left right now guys okay so pretty much um in our properties thing right now guys what we are going to go ahead and do here is i'm just going to show you guys what you can actually change in the pot right now guys also if you let's say you want to add more more than just a brick you can't click uh, click on the slide down button right now guys and add like you can add balls you can add cylinders wedges corner 
corner wedges even guys so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that i can add but let's go for the properties from now so the properties of an object pretty much let you change a lot of things about it guys first things first you guys can change the appearance of it if you want to change the color you just select this and you can change the color right now guys any color you want if you guys want to make it even more specific you can click on color over here guys and actually choose it from this color wheel or whatever you guys call these i forgot what you call them guys and select a nice color of it. that's quite a nice color to be honest guys yeah you can select a nice color over there just between these you guys can see cast shadow over you guys uncheck that then this object will no longer give a shadow also guys over here we have material so you guys can change the material of your object there is quite a few materials over here so let's say make it this that's kind of like a road material and um, asphalt and then we can have like cobblestone over here guys there we go there's a bunch of stuff in here right now guys which you can choose between i prefer to stick with plastic over here guys i think it looks nice or even smooth plastic guys any of them i think they're fine but um yeah guys just feel free to look through the materials there's quite a few there guys also we have reflectance what is reflectance guys well i think you guys know the closer it is to one the more reflective it is the, the more reflective it is guys so if i make this completely one then this is going to lose all of its um color because it's completely reflecting all the light coming off the 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 sky over there guys so if you just like to like the 0.45 as you can see you've got a bit of reflectance over here guys as you can tell you see it's a little bit shiny but not too shiny right now guys so that's reflectance transparency you probably know what that means as well that's just how see-through an object is so if it's one it's completely see-through if it's 0 0.3 you kind of see-through over there guys you can kind of see just through it's kind of like some jelly if you guys get what i mean anyway guys yeah there we go um also guys some more stuff we have the name over here guys so this is very very important when organizing stuff in your explorer tab right now guys because the name will tell you what something does and um allows you to more easily see what more easily organize your your explorer and um, so you guys can name this i'm just gonna name this um block or whatever guys as, a, as you can see it updates here on the right of the explorer which is quite cool guys also if you are wanting to receive one-to-one -one help from me, I have a Patreon page which you guys can join. You can find the script in every single video I upload to the channel on that account as well, guys. Um, and yeah, you can feel free to join that and receive one-to-one -one help from me. But anyway, guys, right, okay. So we got that bit right now. We also have size over here, guys, where you can change size on the x-axis. And we can change that to like that. You can change it on the y axis, which is like up and down. And then the z axis, which is like forwards and backwards. Well, it really depends what and um, what way you look at it, guys. As you can see, we've got the cube over here, which allows you to change the faces, which you are viewing right now, guys, which is quite nice. You've got the axes over there, which you can't see. And you can move this about wherever you guys really want, to be honest. Um, but yeah, guys, it would be nice if I could quickly show you guys. Um, yeah, but we, we've got like the axes over here. As you can see, y is just up and down x is this way and then z is like kind of like here so you guys can see that whenever you're changing that and um, but also guys instead of doing that which takes a little bit of time you can just scale it to perfectly the size that you guys want which is what i normally use i don't really use the size bit unless like i want to make a perfect square or something like that guys but yeah that's pretty much what this scale thing is at the top of here guys you can also change the position pretty much that just means where it's located so if you put it at zero and then zero that's going to completely change it guys if you actually of course do the f thing again we're going to go to it guys this is completely in the middle of the map of course you can change the position by moving it over here guys with the move tool of the top over here and um, with this tool guys it gets locked to an axis over here so if you don't want it let's say move it um along the um x-axis over here which is this one you could just move along these two right now guys without having the movement over there however guys if you want free movement of your object you can click on the select button and you can move it wherever you like which is quite cool guys okay next we have orientation that's kind of like the rotation of the object let's say we put a 40 on here as you can see it's a bit um it's like rotated up there guys you can do it on all axes over here which is quite cool guys and again there is a rotate button for you guys to change over here um which way you're rotated by but as you guys can see right now this is another tip that i want to give you the the rotate thing it's not really it's kind of like it's, it's on a weird weird angle right now guys it's not like vertically up what you guys do in this case is um on your keyboard select Control and l that will completely reset it guys back to normal so this is the normal rotate thing guys so if you ever if you ever have that happen and you want to revert it like 
back to normal and maybe change the orientation a little bit more guys you can select ctrl l and let's say i want to select it back i can of course do ctrl l again guys and yeah so that, that's another tip that i have guys really really useful ctrl l over there guys right okay so now that we have that right now i think that's no that man that's not everything that i need to say over here guys for our next thing right now guys we have can collide what is can collide well that pretty much means one second guys let me actually add in a spawn location over here you know what? while i'm doing this right now guys so to add a spawn location you go into um into my Model, then click on spawn that just means where your player is gonna run the game and um, spawn in by but anyway guys yeah pretty much what can, what can collide is it means can the player actually run through the object or is the object or is the object gonna block them so as you guys can see right now guys this object right now is solid i cannot go through it however guys if i were to change the can collide thing for this to off well it's gonna um go through the map right now guys but um because it's not anchored but pretty much guys but if can collide to off then you can go for the object um you know guys let me just talk about anchored right now guys so as you can see there the object was moving a bit if i select it to anchored then it will stay in the exact same place as where i put it at guys so now it's gonna stay in the same it's gonna stay in the same place even though i'm like messing around with it and also if i cut turn off can collide i can now walk through the object which is quite cool guys um and yeah really really nice okay so we've got that out the way right now guys a few more things that i want to quickly say today are going to be the toolbox guys in the toolbox you can find pretty much whatever you guys want however guys i've got a few things that you probably need to hear from me one do not add some random scripts into your game over here guys because a lot of the time the script will break your game sometimes they're trying like mess your game up guys on purpose a lot, a lot of the time there's not very nice scripts in there guys so i would be careful when adding stuff from the toolbox over here guys it is quite useful let's say you want to learn how it some like scripting things work you can you, you can just put in an item from the toolbox over here guys and just look at the scripts but also guys quite useful let's say you just want to make something really quick and just to test with guys you can add like buildings and that sort of stuff and um, if it does have a script in there guys it will say and um, when you add it to your game this includes some scripts guys if you don't want it to include scripts then just don't add it guys but yeah that's how you know if it will con contain scripts and um, but yeah toolbox it's quite useful however guys i would not make a game completely from the toolbox over here guys because sometimes i have seen people get banned because there's like stolen games in here and if you publish to roblox with stolen games then sometimes your account may get like warned or something like that guys i'm not too sure though i have seen that happen to a few people just be careful with the toolbox over here guys it is useful but at the same time it's a bit dangerous guys if you are not careful but yeah that's the toolbox for you all and one final thing over here guys we have the terrain bit over here so as you guys can see right now we've got the editor tab right now and i did talk about a terrain like base pit that was um that we could select from just at the start so what this is guys you can actually click on this region thing and you can like spawn in um like terrain so it's not like any blocky parts that you normally see guys it's completely different so if we actually click on um edit sorry guys you can click on edit and then click on add you can just simply add some terrain over here guys kind of like let's say games like jailbreak over here guys they do use terrain there's a few other maps on roblox that um do use terrain over here guys so you can do add subtract if you want to take away terrain over here guys maybe make like a cave grow that just grows out a bit of terrain that you've already got and um, erode it just makes it go down pretty much guys we've got smooth over here guys so if you want to make it a bit smoother right now as you can see it's quite like well it was quite as you can see here it's quite like a sharp indent over there guys we can use smooth just to smooth that out a little bit guys which is quite cool um and then of course we have flatten if you want to completely flatten a bit over here guys as you can see completely flat right now guys and then paint let's say you want to paint a, a new color let's say i want to play it this is glacier color you guys can use the paint tool sea level you can just create like where you'll see can spawn in if you, can, you guys can just mess around with this it's not too hard to um it's, it's quite easy to learn guys the terrain out there you make some quite cool stuff with that guys but yeah that's pretty much part one of the beginner roblox studio um scripting tutorial series guys there was no script in today's video but a very important one um for you all just to get your just get hung um with roblox studio over here guys and just know how it works pretty much guys but yeah next video will definitely be a more entertaining one guys we will actually be getting on to scripting some stuff which is quite nice but that's gonna be it for this video here again if you guys any need any help from me you can find that on my patreon account but i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out